Hey Nerdberg, this is How Are You Doing? This is Will Zambrano. I'm coming to you guys from the Cisco uh, NYC Networkers Meetup Group. And um, for this video, I want to do like a short like 15-20 minute video on to show you guys how to configure ASDM for Genius 3. Um, now, uh, as of I think like a few releases ago, Genius 3 released the capability for us to use ASAs, which was great because now we could actually mess around with routers and ASAs and want topology. Uh, but one thing that's missing is that we don't have access to the ASDM. Uh, ASDM is going to be our GUI for managing the ASAs. And um, if you guys manage it at all, any ASAs at all in production, um, you notice that it's actually a really, really great tool uh, to help you. Um, it kind of complements the CLI. It, it, it's not like, you know, uh, I know most people maybe may prefer one or the other, but at the end of the day, they both kind of work together like peanut butter and jelly. So it's really helpful to have it working in a lab. So for our example here, we're going to go ahead and configure that out of the box. Um, but before that, as always, my little ah, <laughs> my little commercial blur about myself. Uh, my name is Will Zambrano. I've been doing IT for about eight years now. Uh, I'm a CCSI, a Cisco certified instructor. Um, I also have a bunch of different certifications as well. Um, consulting in, in various different companies, small to mid-sized companies. Uh, also, uh, I want to bring you guys to uh, a few websites uh, that I think you guys will find uh, very handy. Uh, the first one is obviously the one uh, most of us know already, which is our meetup.com page. Uh, this is a list of all the upcoming events that we may be having, which uh, actually our next upcoming event will be our CCIE MPLS uh, meetup. So if you guys are in the area, in the New York area, um, definitely uh, uh, try to attend that one. We're going to be in by Wall Street. Um, so that's going to be pretty nice. Um, another one is going to be our anchor page. So this is our nycnetworkers.com page. Uh, this kind of serves as, as like a blog, uh, but is also as I, as I call it the anchor page. It's because we are, it's a way that you can get to our YouTube channel, meetup.com page. Uh, any job postings I get, I, I post on the site here. Uh, and, and also a couple of different labs. So um, the reason I, the reason I got prompted to make this video is because uh, I, created a CCNA security uh, lab one um, uh, a lab for our video here and a um, couple of objectives here but I mean the only thing that I noticed when I was putting this lab together was because I was like man you know <laughs> there's no uh, there's no ASDM and it's kind of really helpful to have that so uh, that's kind of what prompted this whole video in the first place to, to make this and um, but also, finally, we have our YouTube channel. So if you guys go under playlists, I divvy up the videos and under the certification levels. So NA security, NA data center, NA routing and switching, um, any videos or webinars that I make, I post up on here. So hope you guys find that uh, helpful. Also, the um, my email here, wilsonbrown.gmail.com, and also my Skype handle name, which I'm pretty much always on Skype, um, you know, I don't. <laughs> I don't think I ever turn that thing off. So if I'm not online, just just shoot me a message anyway, and, and I'll uh, I'll get to it. Okay. So first things first, a couple things to actually get this working. Um, now what we're gonna do is uh, we're actually gonna uh, we're gonna go ahead and have to find a way to bridge our physical PC to our ASA. So uh, one way that we can do that is the cloud, which is a way is a kind of like an exit point to get out of GNS3 into our I guess you could say our real world here, um, and to get to the virtual environment that we have with GNS3. Now, one thing that you can't do though, oh, well, actually, let me, let me not jump ahead of myself. So uh, let's, let's do the steps here. Um, first, we wanna go ahead and configure a loopback interface on your PC. Now, I already did one. Uh, as you can see here, I got my ASA loopback interface here. What I did was I renamed it though, um, just so I can, easily eyeball it when I'm working in GNS3. Uh, but to make that, you can go to uh, Device Manager, uh, click on Network Adapters, go to uh, Add Legacy Hardware, and in here there's a little wizard. You wanna install the hardware from uh, from list you manually select. Go down to Adapters, Network Adapters, uh, Microsoft, and then towards the bottom, you want to click on loopback interface. So that, that's how you add a, a loopback interface to your uh, Windows machine. 
but I'm not going to do that because I had it one already. So that's there. Uh, and as I mentioned, you're, you're probably going to want to rename it because it makes it a lot easier to choose it in GNS3. Okay, so we did that. Uh, next up, we're in GNS3, we're going to create a switch and a cloud. Now, when I mean a switch and a cloud, this is our cloud here. Uh, if I right-click the cloud and go to Configure, um, in our Ethernet tab here, if you pull it down, uh, you can see our ASA loopback that we created. I'm going to go, 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 go ahead and add that. Um, as you can see, that's why I named it ASA loopback, because it's a lot easier to eyeball when you're in GNS3. Now, you can't directly connect this guy. You get an error message saying that you need to use like a hub or a switch. So that's the reason. I mean, I use a switch. I mean, you can use a hub if you want to, but I just use a switch. Kind of like as like the middleman to actually connect to the guy. All right. Perfect. So I can fire these guys up right now. And we uh, linked the cloud to our loopback. We did that already. That was when we went to the Ethernet tab. Okay, so um, ensure that we can ping between your ASA and the loopback. So let me open up a console here. And I'll make the font a little bigger so this way you guys watching the video can see this better. Okay, and it's up. So uh, first time you go into ASA, uh, ask you for a password. There's no password, just hit enter. We'll take a look at our interfaces. Everything is down right now. So let me pull this guy a little down so you can see everything in one screen. Um, so we're connecting. So let's, let's do this. Let's do E1, which is really gig one. Um, so we're going to configure that so that it can talk to our loopback. Now, actually, before that, let, let's go to our loopback. Let's right click them. Uh, let's give them an uh, IPv4 address. And I gave it just 10.0.0.2 slash 24. Um, so as you could imagine, on our ASA, we're going to give it 10.0.0.1. You can give it whatever IP you want. I'm just going to give it that. Uh, no, I don't care about that. Uh, first, we'll do name if. We'll call it management. Um, and we'll do I. We'll do no shut because I forget that sometimes. Um, address 10.0.0.1. Do show interface IP brief. Uh, I can see an up and up. Perfect. Okay, so let me make sure I can ping my loopback and I can ping them, so that's good. Okay, now let's go ahead and transfer uh, using TFTP. So you're going to want to install a some kind of TFTP software on your machine here. Um, I personally use here FTFTP64. Um, I've been using it since like the CCNA days, so it, it stuck with me. And so, uh, and I already browsed over to my directory where I'm going to load uh, 7, uh, 7 .4, uh, 4, 14 here. So I'm going to copy that. Um, so if I take a look at my directory here, I can see it's empty. So I'll start doing a copy from TFTP to my disk 0. The IP of my TTP server, which is dot two and the file name. Okay, we could see it's going there. So this part actually takes a while, um, not just actually transferring the file over using TFTP, but also the writing to the disk. So I'm gonna pause the video because it takes like maybe five minutes or so. Okay, so now it's finally done. So we do a directory, I could see it in there. Now, I had to actually two steps here because um, I forgot to add uh, some slight configuration that we got to do on the ASA. Uh, so now we actually copied it over. We got to do uh, a couple things here. First, first thing you want to do off the bat, you want to at least define uh, some kind of a username on here because uh, when we actually try to sign in using HTTPS, uh, it's going to ask us for a, a set of credentials. So if you don't have one set up, you're obviously not going to get in. Uh, also, you want to enable uh, HTTP server. And we also want to define who can get into it So, and through what interface. So 
I'm going to say the management interface. That's because we're connecting through uh, E1. So I'm going to allow anybody to get into uh, HTTP, um, HTTP server uh, through that interface off of basically anybody can get there. Uh, and the last step I want to do, I want to tell the ASDM uh, which image he's going to be using. So I said, you said this one, right? So, and you're going to use that image to load up the ASDM. It's kind of like, you know, when you're your boot image, but instead of this time, we're specifying the uh, ASDM image. Okay. Um, okay, so let me load up here. I got a different window here, but let me load up here the... What IP do I have on here? Show 10.0.0.1. So I'm going to do HTTPS 10.0.0.1. And we get this window here. Uh, don't care about Java. So I'm going to run it as a, uh, as a Java application because that just make it a little bit easier. Um, and I've used this IP in the past, so it may not... Yeah. I might have to use a different browser because I've done this already with this machine. So let me try. You guys may not have that issue because um, first time if you guys are doing it, you probably don't have that problem. Okay, so it's asking for a set of credentials. We called it test123. Yes, run, run. Next, next, finish. It's pretty straightforward. Now, if you guys run this to the Java, you don't have to do this part, but just because um, my Firefox already has it saved and it's kind of a hassle sometimes, so I'm just going to use a different browser. Makes it a little bit easier. And uh, I'll just wait for that window to pop up. Okay, so finally, after a couple of Java messages, um, I get to this page here. Um, <clears throat> you may have to... Uh, Hit yes, yes, no, no to the Java prompt saying that it's out of date or something or it doesn't trust it. Uh, and we're in. So you can see here if I change my host name, let's call it Meetup ASA. Uh, Meetup ASA. Uh, it hasn't changed it on here yet, but if you hit refresh, uh, you can see it changes it. So sometimes you might have to hit refresh if you're doing stuff back and forth between the the uh, ASA. Also, one thing that you want to do also, um, not all versions of ASDM have this ticked off, but um, under uh, Tools, Preferences, go down to where it says Preview Commands before they send them to device. Check this guy off. Um, this is nice because it'll, it'll give you the CLI output of what you're about to uh, send to the device. And... Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. You guys can go crazy from this point. I mean, everything you want on the ASDM, and this is perfect for CCMP candidates. Um, you can do, and you know, pretty much anything you need to do as as and like a regular uh, ASDM box. So, um, and that that is that's it. <laughs> this is a quick, you know, ten minute video of actually how to get this whole thing set up. Um, reason I did this video in the first place, guys, was because I actually just posted up a new. Uh, if you go to Lab Security on the NYC Networkers page, uh, I actually set up a uh, a lab here as a good introduction for people who are going for CCNA security. Um, I noticed on the video, or at least guys who are accessing me uh, through Skype or through email, there's a big demand for people asking for um, security stuff. I, not so much writing and switching, which I'm, I guess writing and switching is getting too easy for most people out there, or maybe... Um, you know, whatever the reason is, but uh, I'm gonna try to develop some more content for you guys for the security stuff. Um, and this is kind of one of the first steps here. So uh, I hope you guys like the video. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, I hope to see you guys uh, in person at a future meetup. All right, talk to you later, networkers. Bye.